Christopher Wilder went on a killing spurt. He would go from different states, take women from different states, and then he would dump their bodies. The police were trying to find him, and they were doing everything they could to find him, but he was just... He would... There was one time they almost caught him, but he left, like, right before they got there, probably because he knew they were coming. He took a young girl from the mall, and when he kidnapped her, he kept her for a while. He tortured her. But then she would say he would have deep conversations with her. So, he told her that he would let her go on one condition. If she would help him get another victim. So, her just being 16, that's what she did. She went to the mall with him and she went up to a young girl and told her what Christopher Wilder would always do about modeling. So she went and then he grabbed her and also took her. So he would torture this girl and when he was done torturing her, he would go back to the other one. But he realized he had to get rid of the girl because the police were on to him. So they drive and he takes the one girl and he stabs her. So when he drives off, he goes back because he's, he, I guess he thought maybe she could be alive. So he went back and she was gone. The girl survived and she told them about the girl that he had kidnapped that helped him kidnap her. So that's how they knew that he had this young girl. So he's trying to get away now. So he tells the girl he's gonna let her go, but she has to help him with one more thing. He needs another car. So he finds this 33 year old woman and he shoots her and takes her car and he lets the girl go. Well, he was at a gas station and two policemen come up to him and he started freaking out because he knew that he was caught. So he goes in the car and the police realize he's trying to grab a gun. So the gun winds up going off and it shoots the police officer, but the police officer was not in bad condition. He survived. Christopher Wilder would die. People think this was that he committed suicide, that, you know, he didn't want to do jail time, which it seems to me likely that he did kill himself because everything he did to avoid the police, he did not want to go to prison. He just, he seemed like he was going to do everything he could to stay out of prison, even if that meant dying. Still today, there are women that they think Christopher Wilder killed, but they haven't been able to prove it. And there's a lot. Like I said, he would go from state to state and 
take these young girls and always lure them with the promise of being a model. And a lot of people think his crimes go back as early as when he was 16. So, a long time. The girl, though, he kidnapped, both of them ended up surviving. And the one, you know, when she got back, she told her story. How he... He would have conversations with her. It was almost like he liked her. But Christopher Wilder's killing spree came to an end finally. And the one of the most wanted men was now dead. Well, that is the story of Christopher Wilder. Thank you guys for watching.